beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification i want to truly celebrate and appreciate all who have taken the pain, the sacrifice, the resources to travel from within and outside this country. So many people have been here from within the week. There are people who came in um, from the morning till evening. They've been on their way, risking themselves on the road. Um, why would God allow you go through this rigor and then just leave you with a good feeling? No, you are in for an experience that will be worth any sacrifice that you paid to be here. You've heard me say it, but let me tell you this sincerely. If you ever find your way to this ground, it's already a, a sign that is a miracle has started in your life. And now you will think I'm just bragging and boasting until the Lord opens your eyes to see the resistance that fights you from where you are to this place. That you truly survived and arrived there is already for you it's a token already that that laughter is already on the way praise the lord um i especially want to bless god for our precious lagos family let's honor them precious precious it's a real family i tell you thank you so much house on the rock hicc and the Lord bless and honor you in the name of Jesus. Now, please listen. I was just meditating um, this afternoon. You know, it is very difficult to be me. Let me explain to you what I mean. When you understand that by the privilege of God's grace, the miracle, the deliverance, the healing of someone is resting on your knowing God, on your accessing his power, is a very difficult responsibility. Praise the Lord. Because the guilt that will latch onto you if the people live without being blessed and changed, they came because they believed God and then they believed you. It's up to you to prove that the God who sent you is still alive. You see how difficult it is. But then as I meditate on the wonderful things that God continues to do by his grace in and through my life and this ministry, you know, we get literally without exaggeration so many the testimonies that are shared here is is not is not up to one tenth of the wonders that god continues to do in the lives of people the transformation the healing the restoration favor 
encounters and so on and so forth and um, you know when people say Joshua Selman did it or the God of Joshua Selman all of these things by my persona I'm not somebody who um, I'm not a spotlight person at all at all if I have my way I would gladly hide behind and you know just let God do his thing um, but sometimes the kind and the nature of responsibility that God gives you would always require that you make contact with people and I'm really grateful to God I can tell you this I am as blessed by the testimonies as though it didn't happen by God and through me when I listen to these testimonies my my phone is always full of testimonies situations that you cannot imagine and then as we continue to grow by his grace in the anointing it's amazing to see what new dimensions begin to come in and are introduced into our lives and our experience because there is increase and growth in the anointing um, I'm taking out time to say this I'm just sharing my heart with the Lord when I came out from the car I saw our precious people standing outside everywhere knowing the probably hundreds of thousands millions of people from around the world following and everybody is silent now and all of them are looking at one man take the stage lord have your way i'm just a vessel and nothing more when you're done please take the glory i'm satisfied just to see you glorified Please take the stage, Lord, and have your way as they behold you. I'm just a vessel, there's nothing more. When you're done, even tonight, please take the glory. I'm truly satisfied just to see you glorified. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. After you would have healed, oh God, delivered, torn someone's decades old challenge overnight. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Lord, every time people say me, let it be that they mean you. Every time they say it is Joshua Selman, let it be that they truly meant to say you, Jesus, the Son of the Living God. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. My desire has never been to be a preacher. My desire has never been to be a celebrity. No. All of these things mean absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
all that I desire with my life is that God can find a space through this vessel and bring glory to the name of his son and I'm telling you if that happens I am completely satisfied this mundane pursuit of so many things that's not it at all I sang this song from the depth of my heart it's not just something you pretend because you're on stage it's, it's been my passion to see that the mighty things that God would do even tonight that it will not just be the promoting of the name of a man as inevitable as that may look but that behind all of this my desire is to see Jesus to see him glorified and his name be lifted that for me it's an honor already to be the vessel to be used by God and let me teach you something please listen if you're a man of God here please listen this is a miracle service conquer the addictiveness of fame and power conquer it it's a beautiful experience to be on the other side of the applause on the other side of the commendations it's a wonderful thing but if you do not conquer the deception that comes with that lust to be known to be famous you will never go far with God pray as far as you can pray fast as far as you can fast read the Bible for as long as you can read but if that heart condition that circumcision does not happen you will never go far with God I believe with all my heart that this is a word already for someone you know most times when people see God um, doing mighty things through men the celebration that comes with results begins to whet the appetite of their lusts and they think oh dear let me have this opportunity and shine too and prophesy too and pray no. this song must become a, an anthem and a desire in your life and I if I be lifted up from the earth he says I will draw all men to myself it is cheaper stepping back and allowing him to take his place hallelujah I will just share a few things very briefly and then we'll pray we have a lot to do but the Lord just inspired in my heart to challenge us and it's important for us to understand that God I will continue to teach us this the boundary of God's power is his word God is limited by the provisions that his word allows he cannot go outside of the scope of his word in blessing in lifting in delivering whatever it is that he does has to be consistent with the allowance provided for by his word hallelujah and so it, it matters I know that many of us are here we're trusting God to just step in don't worry just 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 calm down and lend your attention let the Holy Spirit minister very deeply and challenge you because when the Word of God listen carefully please when the Word of God is not released there is no basis for the power of God to flow are we together now the Bible says in that light is the hiding place of his power the power of God hides behind his light and so when the effulgence of that light comes then his power is ready to be released the first thing I want to share tonight is is a word of caution again to just remind us again number one that 
every believer's pursuit and goal is to be like Christ and to reflect him to the world please listen our goal is beyond miracles our goal our pursuit is beyond signs wonders our pursuit is beyond the knowledge of mysteries and principles as powerful as they are it is important for us to understand fundamentally that our pursuit sincerely in this kingdom is number one to become like christ experientially apostle was speaking and he said my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you so the formation of christ in a believer and then the ability to reflect christ to the world this should be our highest pursuit so miracles signs wonders methodologies and principles deliverance healings all of these things are subsets and must remain so they are only possibilities that are brought into our lives to the end that we find the comfort and the stability to pursue this one goal to be like christ and to reflect christ to the world if we veer off from this ultimate goal then miracles will no longer be a blessing listen carefully prosperity will no longer be a blessing breakthrough of any sort will no longer be a blessing the value the value in receiving the miraculous in prospering receiving restoration breakthrough etc the value is in its ability to contribute to keep you at ease so that you can continue this pursuit of becoming like christ in experience are we together it is very important because it is easy for believers to veer off now because we are humans please you have to listen to this many of us seated here right now and many following from around the world online we were buffeted by all kinds of situations and truly let me tell you um the human was not designed to find ease in pain so that that focus to get pain away to get everything that looks like tragedy it can overwhelm your desire to pursue christ you just want the money because you are tired of the embarrassment from landlord you want to know the principles you're tired of being laughed at and so on and so forth you want the miracle you are tired of the pain you are tired of living on drugs you know you want the job you are tired of being limited you want the child you know all of these things they are very legitimate desires but i'm saying the real value of the manifestation of the power of god is the revelation of jesus christ through it you have to understand this so all that we do here all that we teach all that we do is an attempt to coordinate our lives and our destinies together by the spirit to the end that when all is said and done more than the knowledge of principles more than the knowledge of formulas and methodologies more than physical results of breakthrough prosperity increase speed and all of these possibilities in the kingdom more than all of this our greatest pride in fact even more than purpose an assignment as it were that we become like christ in experience and then out of the abundance the richness of him that has been formed in us we can reflect that to the world whoever does that is a winner a real winner hallelujah ministries that work in very strong dimensions of the anointing the prophetic healing signs and wonders usually will need to remind themselves every once and again because the charismatism around the move of God and the manifestation of God's power alone 
can tilt you away from this understanding are we together in a few minutes now god is going to be touching lifting blessing people and all kinds of testimonies will be coming and sometimes we have believers who tabernacle within organizations and spiritual platforms like this for many years they never know god they never have a personal encounter with god their lives do not become reflections of his possibilities with time although they get miracles although they receive impartations although the gifts of the spirit continue to work in their lives are we together although they will buy cars and houses and build estates although the ministries will move from permanent site to permanent site and increase and expand and become successful in as much as we know success to be but if all of these things happen and they do not point us back to the lord and help us to know him not to know what he can do to know who he is then there is a serious problem is god blessing us today there are people who will never opt to be born again they are uninterested in anything that has to do with salvation they are not interested in god but they are interested in every other thing aside from salvation they want the healing power that comes with the kingdom they want the fame, the increase, the speed. They want the revelation. Everything that can come, they desire. But that encounter with the Son of the Living God is something that um, even ministers are uninterested, really. They just want the charismatism. And the reason is there is an explanation. Because we are humans, we walk with our senses. And the things that we see and experience is what we can relate with. Are we together? And whoever is the face behind that will have all kinds of benefits, financial benefits, benefits of fame and influence and loyalty, etc. So it is, it is more rewarding physically to ignore the pursuit of the knowledge of Christ and pursue the manifestation of power and miracles. If someone throws his crutches with blind eyes is open if a deaf ear opens i mean that news will spread far if you say someone was saved they say well glory to god as usual but what really happened what people mean i mean what is the wow factor in the meeting we must be spiritual enough to value the power of becoming like christ we must be spiritual enough to see the all surpassing superiority that that pursuit provides above and beyond getting things it is god's desire that our lives become a reflection of christ knowing god and having a personal walk with god is our highest priority write it down please knowing god and having a personal walk with god is the believer's highest pursuit our highest priority is not to end the family crisis please listen if you are not listening to me it's a sign that the devil is distracting you because what i'm saying is very important you will receive the miracles you will receive the signs the wonders the miracles the breakthrough this is for sure but knowing god and having a personal walk with God is our highest priority. Our highest priority. So while I receive the miracle, the job, the breakthrough, the blind eyes opening, the deaf ears opening, speed coming into my life, restoration happening, decades of barrenness vanishing overnight, infirmities and diseases living just like that more than those things please listen to me the real value is that they now take away the hindrances that can distract my pursuit of knowing god are we together why do we hate poverty not because poverty um we hate the role it plays 
in limiting your knowing God and becoming like him. Why? Because it takes time to know God. It takes time to understand his ways. And that same time it takes to know God is what the world demands of you to be able to give you financial stipends. So there is a conflict. You have your time. It can be used to know God or it can be used to pursue wealth all through your lifetime. This is why we hate poverty. And then because every time you are serving the Lord, Caesar will come. I've taught you this. And demand tribute. When you focus to worship God, Caesar will come. And if the way to be a peacemaker in the earth is a formula, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God. While you worship God, keep Caesar's coin because he's coming. When he comes, give him his coin and Caesar will go and you keep worshiping God. But the moment you cannot give Caesar's tribute, you will have to forego your worshiping God to labor to find his coin and give to him. Caesar distracted Jesus and distracted his service. Jesus said, okay, Peter, you have to go fishing. You were supposed to be listening to me. But now that Caesar has come, because it's a law, we have to break this transmission of worship. And sometimes it's not ours, it's your lifetime. Are you getting it now? So by the time I prophesy financial favor or I teach you on the principles of finance, it's not just for money's sake. It is to be able to keep Caesar's gold. And when Caesar knocks the door, you say, carry it, please. I'm focusing on God and destiny. Your tribute is there for you. The disturbance of Caesar is a terrible strategy to take you away from God. Caesar will come as your child's school fees. It will come as all kinds of wicked bills growing geometrically. So to be a peacemaker is to sustain the intelligence and the ability to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and then give to God what belongs to God. Why do we expose people to the power of God to lift? What is there about lifting? Because you cannot make impact when you are in the pit. When Joseph was in the well, he remained there. We don't know what he was doing down there. But one thing we know is that he was not making any impact. He was alone when he was brought out and honored in the palace. When he was there, he was able to salvage his brothers. Why do we have to prophesy speed? Are we together? The reason is because our, the unit of destiny is time. Please listen very carefully. Whatever eats your time has eaten a portion of your life. Many of us got born again late already. You dedicated a major chunk of your life to ignorance and to the service of the devil. And now that you are born again, there is still the law of process. And if you are to follow the law of process in its normal course, you will never have the time to know God and serve. So God will have to introduce, I call them systems of advantage. He will bring them into the equation of your destiny to restore time. So that in one year, God can put 10 years inside one year. And then now he can allow you to make progress. Are we together? A woman who has been barren for 10 years. Already she, she would have had maybe three children at least. Well spaced and happy. Even if she has one child, she's making progress. But restoration has not yet happened to her. But when God gives that woman triplets, he didn't give her children. He took time and brought it back. Nine months. And an experience that was to span nine years. He brought it in nine months. Are we together? So I want you to see every miracle and everything that happens to you with respect to its contribution or its inhibition to your knowing God and pursuing him. If you remain poor, like many people have chosen to, the challenge there is that they will not know God and they will stop others from knowing God. If you remain weak and you are not strong, 
the challenge is one day your body will not be able to host the spirit again and it will leave because there is a requisite health condition for the spirit to be able to stay in this body your body is your passport to function in this realm not your passport to be alive you don't need the body to be alive but you need the body to be authorized to function in this dimension of god's kingdom this is the reason why we agree with people that demonic sicknesses like cancer like hiv and all these sicknesses that don't have names but have symptoms and the pain that they bring when we agree for people to be touched it's not just showing that a man of god is anointed is a way of saying God is interested in your longevity God is interested in you serving him because those things are death sentences hallelujah are we together so I want you to see everything that you will receive tonight with respect to its contribution when you see someone getting healed or getting delivered don't look at the rowdiness of the process. Rejoice with that person because something is happening to that person that will grant him or her the ease to serve God now. Are we together now? Our messages must be central and eventually. Remember the formula in, in the days of Moses. There were serpents, but there was a brazen serpent that was lifted. And that the condition was that if you set your gaze on that one, you will survive this one. In any case, you must look at the serpent. You can choose to look at the one that is on the ground there or look at the one lifted. Are we together now? And that anyone who stayed there, ignoring all of these things and stayed there, that person was saved. Healing is pointless if it does not lead to Christ. Deliverance is pointless if it does not lead to Christ. Prosperity, a job, increase, all kinds of miracles, they are pointless if they do not lead to Christ. So it's important for every one of us to get this. Number two, the second thing I would say tonight is the fallacy listen carefully we must conquer the fallacy of trying to do what we have not become the futility of attempting to live out a lifestyle that has not been captured in our paradigm and our mindsets listen very carefully it is futile to attempt to do things any lifestyle that your mindset cannot host is not yours this is very powerful listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call it deliverance through transformation many believers listen to me very carefully now there are people who do not believe that the idea and the concept of deliverance even exists it does it truly does the only balance is that casting out a spirit or an influence as i always teach is not the end of it now please we need africa we need to hear this because um we many people do not want to go through the labor that brings transformation so that our experiences now reflect what the word of god says i can cast out a spirit out of a man the influences can leave you spirits not only stay in men a spirit can stay in a business a spirit can stay in your it doesn't have to be in and around the faculties of man mm -mm. man is their most preferred habitation but not the only habitation spirits can stay in a business they can stay anywhere anything that can have a material expression can be home to spirits they can stay in a challenge a challenge can be a body and a spirit stays there are we together now now but praying and setting you free from the influence of that spirit is only part one of your true freedom the other part 
is that you must be transformed. Please say transformed. When Jesus was given what we would know to be his manifesto, the messianic prophecy, Isaiah 61 and then Luke chapter 4, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings. Listen carefully. To the meek, he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Are we together? And then he said to set the captives free. He had sent me to proclaim, one of the versions who say, proclaim deliverance. There is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is through the accurate dispensing of the word of God. That means that your understanding must become fruitful to that dimension. Then your lifestyle follows suit. Are we together now? It is futile to try to do things. Any experience you want to live out that has not been captured as a reality in your thinking. Believers, a major part of our growth is in the realm of the mind. You have to know this. It's unfortunate that many people criticize any effort to transform the mind, to meticulously mentor believers into understanding. Usually they think it is weakness. A major part of the ministry of Jesus was dedicated in mentorship. In fact, he did not finish the curriculum. When he resurrected, he called all of them to the lecture. And for 40 days, he needed to tidy up some things before he would leave. Their growth happened principally through his, the mentorship of the word. He started in Matthew chapter 5. The Beatitudes, teaching them the ways of the kingdom. This is how we function in this kingdom. When they embraced it, then they now made room to be empowered by the Spirit. That means the ministry of the Holy Spirit will look almost useless in the life of a believer who does not contend for transformation. There is a dimension of his spirit that brings us to that transformation. But the richer part of the ministry of the Holy Spirit is seen when we are transformed, not before we are transformed. The primary role of the Holy Spirit before our transformation is to guide us into the body of truth allocated to construct our understanding so that we reign. That's his primary assignment. And then to convict and so on and so forth. The richness of his ministry, the potentials of a man's receiving the Holy Spirit is experienced. First by him and then by his territory only when he's transformed. That means if we are not transformed, we will shortchange the potentials of the life and the ministry of the Holy Spirit as can be seen in us. Most people think when the Holy Spirit comes, he just continues to transform you and then that's... No, 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 no. Transformation has an end. Are we together now? That means you should be able to attain onto a level of commendable maturity where the Holy Spirit says, now we can do business together. You have risen to a realm where I can freely manipulate your faculties to the degree to which they will allow me to express myself richly. Transformation is powerful. Many believers will not contend for transformation. And there is a consequence. If you do not contend for transformation, the, the, the consequence is that you will return back to the circle of exorcism, casting out devils, temporary liberty, casting out devils, temporary liberty, casting out devils, temporary liberty. Remember that the spirits don't need to only come. See, listen, let me tell you. Come, um, Dr. Mecca, look at this. This gentleman... Can, I can speak over his life prophetically. Watch this. And within the space of two, three days, even one day, this man can receive a million naira, two million naira. Now, he has not prospered. That blessing is to help him to be able to solve the needs that press him so that he can learn the ways that prosper men. Because the devil is not afraid of the money he's held. The money is not in his mind. So he, he is not his own. It was a loan that was given to him prophetically. It becomes his when the money is in his mind. 
So he can hold on to that and say, ah, apostle is powerful. And after two months, the, the futility of his understanding will abort that miracle. Are we together now? Because he does not know the ways of God are located for the increase and the sustenance of resources. Inevitably, no matter how careful he uses that, he uses that money, it must finish and must leave him. It's not an attack, it's the law. I've taught you. Because his growth does not allow this kind of result. Prophecy routed a way of bringing it to help him fast. But because transformation was not there, it must leave him. Now, when it leaves him, he will come back again and say, Apostle, I brought 10,000 like that day. And I will still speak. I will say now in the name of Jesus, may God bless you. This time around, it doesn't matter how much comes. It's still the same thing. Whether it's 100,000 or 10 million, he's still in trouble. He's not free. Are we together now? So it is true that the spirit of poverty can be around this man's business, this man's life, and so on and so forth. I'm just using this as an example. Now, after I take authority over that spirit, the Bible says when a spirit leaves a man, it goes through dry regions looking for a safe place, a place of habitation. Not finding any, the spirit will advise itself. I will arise like the prodigal son and return back to my house. He's still calling the man. That means you remain just because a spirit leaves you or leaves your business does not mean you are free. It finds the house swept, clean, but empty. And then the Bible says it gathers seven others. Jesus is teaching here now. That means this is how the realm of the spirit works. And returns back to that man. So that the latter state of that man is even worse than the former. And because of his ignorance, he will say the man of God is fake. The man of God is not fake. You are not transformed to sustain the miracle. Are you getting where the ignorance of believers come from? At least you, were in a, you, you, you had a house. After the breakthrough, now you don't even have a house again. And you say, ah, I don't know what kind of a reverse anointing works in this church or in this ministry or somewhere. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. But now imagine with me that God steps in over Dr. Emeka's life. Are we together? And then the Lord blesses him, still using the finance that, that, that I'm giving an illustration around. And this guy now, God blesses him. And he decides to say, now that at least one million has come, my destiny is bigger than one million. But one million can quickly help me pay maybe my rent. Are we together? And just sort out my children now. I can, even if I can't pay everything, I can pay first them. I can rest. While he's doing that, he now subjects himself and says, do you know what? I want to find out God's ways. The ways are located for the prosperity of the saints. And he begins to gather these teachings. While he's listening, do you know what he's doing? He's closing the door. This guy is prospering not when he's doing business, when he is fortifying his mindset so that the possibility for that spirit to come in does not exist again. To preach deliverance to the captives. Many believers continue to hop from prayer house to prayer house. Now, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I would not do that. From church to church, from apostle to apostle, prophet to prophet, pastor to pastor, in need of what only transformation can sustainably bring. Are we together now? Yes. We will prefer to do all kinds and all manner of prayer than to settle down and say something is wrong. Notice, no matter what job this guy gets by prophecy, he loses it through ignorance. Prophecy brings it. Ignorance. When the devil marks that you have this stronghold, he will no longer fight the prayer that is coming. This is how Satan mocks many men of God across Africa. Before they pray, the demon leaves joyfully because he knows he will come back. He studies the mindset and finds out that it has become a stronghold. The door has been opened and has been hinged to something to keep that door open. And the spirit says, I can stroll around. The service will soon finish. And I will route through just one door of ignorance. And I'm back to the life, back to the business. Are we together? 
very very powerful so this gentleman as he's transformed something is happening to him you will find out prophecy now you will see the potential of the prophecy or the prayer or the deliverance as you would call it it will show in his transformation so he can return and say 10 years ago watch this once upon a time i was poor or i was weak or i was under all kinds of yokes and all of that then a day came when that spirit or that influence over my life was addressed by the power of god comma and then i subjected myself to a season to learn the ways of god and the holy ghost the more i expanded my spiritual capacity the more his potential the richness of his anointing and his presence manifested through me now look at my life i'm a testimony from here to here i never want this place to just become a place of miracles ah there's a service so let's go you'll be healed you'll be blessed i agree but I, I disagree that you'll be sustainably blessed, sustainably healed, sustainably lifted, except that in addition to the prayer and that which you will receive tonight, you must contend for knowledge. This kingdom is knowledge-based and not any kind of knowledge. You are not at liberty to choose what you want to hear. No, there is a body of truth already allocated. You are not given the luxury of inventing what you want. It may not be comfortable to your, your status quo or whatever church or whatever teaches you. Listen, you must submit yourself to the whole counsel of God, not the one that looks pleasant to you, doctrinally speaking. If you want to stand balanced and to receive the victory, to walk in the fullness of the victorious life, then you must submit yourself to the body of truth allocated to bring you results imagine with me for instance that this were a student and then a lecturer is teaching and he says i don't like this course maybe a medical you're a doctor so imagine a very difficult medical course and then he's saying i don't like this one i like this one now you already know that this guy is in trouble there is a reason why he's taught that as uncomfortable as this you have to love your future as a doctor more than the pain to settle down say I, I may not like it it doesn't i mean who would want to touch a cadaver who would want to walk with a dead body who would want to keep giving people injections all around i mean these guys just inject people and do all kinds of things who would want to do that but you have to do it that's the only way the uh what the, what's inside that the um drug will get into your body there's no Bluetooth for it. It has to go directly. <laughs> Are we together? So, this guy may look cruel while he's giving you that injection. You have to choose health or to just have a temporal comfort. And you endure the thing and receive it for a few days. And after that, you are fine. This is it. It's amazing that the believers that choose what to believe... That means that, um, by, let me explain what I mean. The believers that sit down and select what to believe according to the comfort it provides are the people who don't have results. Isn't it funny? That believers who do not have results are the ones who sit down and choose and say, no, 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 no. Um, I don't like this. I like this. I don't like this. It's pride. The Bible says when you are ready to receive, there is a quality that is required. It's called meekness. That you receive with meekness the engrafted word. You must embrace the whole counsel of God to experience all of God. Are we learning? What I'm sharing with you is very powerful. This is what will give value to the prayers that we'll have. You know, Africa, we like prayer. And prayer is good. But visionless prayer that is not seen as one of the keys that connects to other keys will only continue to be a dissipation of energy flattery in religion and will never produce results the value of prayer is in the role that it plays while other kingdom principles are kept 
prayer does not just work generically regardless of your obeying other principles is why we continue to dissipate spiritual energy and convince ourselves that based on the pain that comes in prayer God must be answering spiritual things are interconnected and the entire system must be healthy for you to experience all of God if you choose a dimension and leave the rest so we have people who are always praying always delivering something always casting out demons now please i i, I don't say it with with a with a heart of sarcasm at all don't don't find offense in any way this way you will never become a portrait of the victory of christ it will never truly happen it was never supposed to be an endless pursuit forever what then is the excellency of the finished work of Christ then on the other hand we have those who continue to flatter themselves that just by default they are free oh boy and their lives continue to show that this is not correct when they are sick they don't say Christ paid for my sickness they go to the pharmacy and then they believe that every other thing is all right the possibility of sickness, the possibility of defeat, no matter how temporal, is already a clue that victory is established in Christ from the prophetic standpoint. But it takes your engaging with God to make it manifest. And people stop here and continue to flatter themselves that they are free until they head to the grave. Are we together? I shall not die you are deteriorating no no god forbid i know that i'm fine you are going down you are having all kinds of dreams and nightmares you finish praying immediately and lie down the spirit say he's asleep now let's continue and you get up and say i didn't see anything you are joking there until they kill you in the spirit and you wake up and die physically back again there is something called the death of a fool it is the death that comes as a result of assumption and pride and ignorance we must embrace the whole counsel of christ if you did not prosper by default then you will not stay healthy by default you will not stay delivered by default it has to be engaged through growth they are stabilizers they provide the dimensions of your stability if you're with me say amen, amen. this is the second thing we must learn because I, I, I continue to get tired of believers again and again. It is this, if this kind of teaching does not come, the danger is that you, the man of God, who is always doing the deliverance, you are in trouble. Number one, you will be idolized. And that is not healthy for you. Are we together? Number two, you will be weary. Because even if you delegate someone and say, pray for them, they'll say, I've gone. You do your own prayer again. And you will continue. These people will wear you out. You must know the truth and know it enough to set you free are we blessed I wrote something down here our spiritual efficiency as far as living in victory and advancing the cause of the kingdom is concerned will require specific knowledge of the ways the principles the methodologies of the kingdom praise the Lord I think there was a time a gentleman sent me a very funny text. I know that he was just, a, I don't know if he was a, a, a male, female, or he just sent me a text and said, Apostle, God has called you to be an apostle to preach Christ crucified, not principles and not systems and strategies. I started interceding for the guy because his, his life will be a compendium of pain. I guarantee you. You see, time is a revealer. And it's terrible to carry so many people in your ignorance only to find out after many decades that you are in trouble. There is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the way. Jesus the way. Jesus did not just say, I am life. He said, I am the way. A methodology. It is still Jesus. This man who was proposing that believed that 
for whatever reason that the teaching of the principles of the kingdom would veer people away from Christ if it's not taught with balance if it's taught as an end to itself and not a means to an end I didn't even reply I just felt I love the person who knows maybe the person is following today I just hope that the person has grown because this kind of copycat pride is what is responsible for the eventual pain of many people where a man of God will stand and not know what to believe again your ignorance has been represented in every dimension and now you stand and wonder what do I do you must be men and women of conviction based on the truth of God's word listen if you do not know the ways of God the primary way that we know God is through scripture the second way we know God is through the names of God the third way we know God is through the person of Jesus Jesus the Bible calls him the 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 express image of the invisible God and the last way we know God is through experience there are not many other ways these are the ways allocated and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation it takes wisdom to see the potentials of salvation in your life it says that you draw with joy out of the wells of salvation when you know god and encounter him he will expose you to his ways it is the knowledge of his ways that brings beauty and glory to your Christian life are we together two scriptures and then we'll pray thank you Megan. Exodus chapter 6 to our business for the night now Exodus chapter 6 from verse 6 to 7 blessed be the name of the Lord wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out from under the burdens of the egyptians i will read you out of their bondage and i will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments seven and i will take you to me for a people and i will be to you a god and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. How do you know? By the mighty acts. There is an experience that I will give you that will cause you and validate to you again that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. Psalm 34 and verse 19. Please look up. It is not the best of God that believers are challenged however it is also not unusual in the economy of God that believers are challenged listen very carefully it while it is true that it is not a the best reflection of the Zoe life if and when believers are challenged in any aspect of their life it is the flawlessness the dexterity the ease of their lives show the multifaceted dimensions of God however because the treasure is in earthen vessels, it is also not unusual. Please listen carefully and deliver yourself from the ignorance that people continue to propose that make believers feel guilty for being challenged. God, in his dealings with men, knew that there will always be room here and there. Are we together? For the devil to seem to find a place and negates the reality of the victory of Christ and so God allocated all kinds of systems so that if for any reason as a believer you find yourself in a predicament that is not consistent with what the Bible says should befit you when you are a partaker of eternal life you don't feel bad you can now begin to engage the systems allocated here's what the Bible says many are the afflictions not of a man Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Not a righteous, the righteous. Many are the afflictions 
of the righteous not the affliction of sinners there is something called the affliction of the righteous now it doesn't really matter how it came the most important thing is that it is there and that there is a provision next um it says but the lord this is your advantage many are the afflictions of an unbeliever but he will remain there because he does not have the lord as his anchor but many are the afflictions of the righteous the advantage of the righteous in affliction is that he has the lord who can deliver him out of them all out of them all so the embarrassment is not the challenge listen believers stop allowing challenges to make you feel i'm not a christian maybe it's because i did not pray no no not at all not at all the bible tells us that many are the afflictions so it is not unusual when your prayer request is almost a notebook many are the afflictions of the righteous he says but the lord delivered him so god is a deliverer he delivers he delivers him what is deliverance i've taught you deliverance doesn't just have to do with spirits no is the parting away separation between you and the obstacles that impede your progress it's called deliverance the moment a platform is created where there is a separation between you and the influences that impede your progress be it demonic be it mental be it physical in whatever variation and fashion it comes the lord delivered him out of them all many are the afflictions of the righteous so it is possible that a pastor can have his children go haywire and while that is happening rent issues financial issues while that is happening maybe his spiritual life is going down while that is happening and he sits and feels bad and some ignorant believer comes and say oh dear it's just because you don't know god your life no no the bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous but when you remain there then you agree with that situation that the victory of christ is a lie that means when you find yourself in that situation the revelation of the fact that the lord can bring you out should not allow you to sit there comfort um, comfortable are we together don't find comfort in that situation you get up and begin to press the woman with the issue of blood knew she understood that she was a daughter of abraham the one who was took uh, you know bound she did not know but this one knew so she could not heal herself but she was already rehearsing oh jesus should come around this place as soon as jesus came she knew already she pressed and touched the helm of his garment never become comfortable when your life is yet to reflect the full potentials of that which comes with the life of god the victorious life your assignment as a believer is to continue to scan through every area of your life to give thanks over the areas that are now reflecting in experience and in reality the victory of christ but then to write down and begin to deal decisively with the areas that are yet to conform to the the reality of the victory of christ i love naaman the Bible says Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army. He says he was a very valiant man. So in one aspect of his life, he was doing exceptionally well. Then the Bible says, but he was leprous. And I'm sure Naaman just said, oh, at least I'm a captain. It's all right. I can live my life like that. But a little slave girl came to plant dissatisfaction. She said, oh, that my Lord would listen to me paraphrasing there is a prophet that you can go to in israel and you go to that prophet and this other side of your life will also come and you know come under alignment and he dragged himself there long story short at the end of it the bible says he became his body became as fresh as that of a child don't be ashamed of your challenges and your pain but don't be comfortable with them either you should be doing something praying about it reading about it there's there has if you are at ease 
when things are not going well it's a sign that you are not a serious believer it is true that you don't have the power as it were to, to minister healing to yourself but you should sit down and say look where do you know that god is moving where do you know this situation i may not have the power to change it but i know that this is not how a home should look like we are up today down tomorrow i've read in the bible that there is favor but i must sincerely admit that i've not seen it reflect in experience i will continue to confess favor i will never speak negatively but then i will partner with god in pursuit of the graces the places the dimensions that will make this become my experience that's how we walk in victory now thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph are we together and so this this gentleman now he knows that this is what the Bible has said about his life that you shall be the head and not the tail he's born again he's believed it but he's becoming the tail almost forever and then he goes to read there has to be something wrong he doesn't know what is wrong but his dissatisfaction is attracting the spirit of wisdom you see that now he does not know what to do but one thing he knows is that his life is not yet a reflection of the word of god listen my brothers and my sisters the excellency of your knowing god is tested when you insist that your life becomes a reflection that insistence is what the bible calls faith it is not the wishing your insistence to see to it i know i don't have a child now no problem i will not kill myself many are the afflictions so there's no embarrassment you can say whatever you want to say ah call me a barren well men are not barren, no. barren woman are we together impotent man whatever you want to call no problem however i've read in my bible that he can make the barren to become a joyful mother so i will not just conclude and say well god one day no 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 in your quietness you say lord just because i said thank you for my condition does not mean i will keep quiet i'm thanking you because the bible says listen the bible says in everything gives thanks is a law it has nothing to do with results i give thanks out of obedience but i insist out of faith Please sit down and learn what will give value to a miracle service tonight so that you will walk out of this place enlightened these pockets of gaps and imbalance is why believers continue to mock themselves you insist and your insistence is luring the spirit of wisdom did the Bible not say through desire? Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1. Through desire, a man having separated himself, he says that he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. As your desire begins to grow, there has to be a way. We can't be begging in this family. My father is a pastor, we are still begging. My mother is an intercessor, we are still begging. My brother is a banker, he's looking like a, like a, a farmer. He's looking like somebody who... who who just packs death on the road there has to be a way out i don't know the way but i know there is a way you see it now ah. oh, 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 oh. my lifting has come assignment listen your assignment as a believer is to keep looking at your life and looking at scripture and record what is not matching let that become your project no matter listen 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 
in as much as you don't feel bad for where you are you also don't feel good for where you are you have to find the way of growing yourself into the dimension of you that becomes the full expression of the life and the power of God so a believer who is at ease is a foolish believer because there is a lot of conformity to be done you may be good in your prayer life but your finances is, is rubbishing the other part of your, your Christian life so you must stay and say thank you Lord for the one I've seen but show me the one I've not seen that's why the Bible says meekness because you see let me tell you this when you have results in one area of your life usually you would deceive yourself into believing that one result covers for everywhere no you have to approach every aspect of the kingdom life uniquely that you're a prayer warrior doesn't mean you are prosperous that you are prosperous does not mean you have character you have to approach these dimensions per dimension until every one of it and let me tell you this the more you conform and receive results the more christ can be seen through you people look at your life and they can see the completeness they know that this is how a believer should look like if you see me limping i'm a human being human beings can limp there is nothing to be ashamed of the best are we together now if you see me hungry and i'm not fasting glory be to god i'm still alive but that's not God's best for me because if I'm hungry continually I will die are we together hunger can kill it doesn't kill in one day but eventually poverty will not destroy you in one day but you continue the day your children can no longer go to school you will be surprised at what you will do for money it's true that you can say look we don't need a crowd even if it's five people, the most important thing is we are doing well. Excellent. After 10 years of five people, you will see whether you will remain in ministry or not. It is in the multitude of men that is a king's honor. Are we together? So tonight, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Tonight is a prayer of addition. Lord, thank you for this, but this area of my life, Lord, you've not visited it yet. And I'm, I'm, I give thanks. But I came for this miracle service. Thanking you for the one you did March, April. But also admitting that my life is not yet in experience. A reflection of all that should be. Is someone ready to pray? Lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven. It is not unusual for believers to be afflicted but to remain at ease in the presence of affliction is a sign of insensitivity and a sign that you do not know the counsel of God let God be true let God be true and every man a liar let God be true and every condition a liar Please pray. Shakros Kebaratushia. We are still praying. Let God be true. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen. Listen. Please hear me. In fact, I will, I will, media, if you can do a podcast of this charge uh, and put it separately, I think people will be blessed hearing it. This thing you just had is real deliverance for someone because it's explaining to you why the devil is not afraid of you no fortification that comes through knowledge hear me please tonight is not a night to be ashamed lord i thank you for this but mention the areas that are not yet there and be sincere Listen, let me tell you. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The Bible says, as I hear you declare before my ears, not as you wish, there is nothing to be ashamed of. Are we together now? When you come before God, this is like a threshing floor. When you go to an injection room with the doctor, if they say turn and receive injection, you don't say, ah, doctor. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's not his business. 
the doctor is free you are the one who is in trouble are you getting what i'm saying now yes listen to me if there is any aspect of your life that is not yet reflecting the reality of the christ life don't feel bad don't let it tear down what god has done give thanks for the one he has done but release your faith and say lord i know there is more and i'm here tonight as a token of my insistence that my life must become a perfect reflection of all the possibilities that are resident in the christ someone pray please lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Psalm thirty four and verse seventeen. Psalm thirty four and verse seventeen. God will only arise to separate you from the hindrances that impede your progress in life when you call. The righteous, the same righteous, many are the afflictions of the righteous. And the Lord delivers that righteous, but it does not come by default. That same righteous, the righteous must have to cry and say, Lord, I know that many are my afflictions. I give you thanks in pain, but bring me out of pain. Bring me out of pain. Lift your voice and cry. Please lift your voice and pray. Pray like a priest. Pray like one who is tired of this dimension. Separate me tonight, oh God. Separate me from the influences that impede my progress, that impede the fullness of my destiny in Christ. chapter 21 verse 1 and 2 praise the Lord we are going to pray Genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 and 2 and the Lord visited Sarah as he said there was a day he said it but did not do it there was a day the prophecy was still in motion now the time came when what God said he now did and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken verse 2 and Sarah conceived this is the proof that God visited her something happened in her life that did not happen before something happened in her destiny there has to be proof 
of something today that was not there yesterday. Lord, visit me tonight. Lift your voice and cry for a visitation. Visit my church. Visit my ministry. Visit my finances. Visit my spiritual life. Is someone praying? And the Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord did unto Sarah. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman. One more prayer point and I'll begin to minister. Please listen. One more prayer point. Listen carefully. He said, tell Pharaoh, let my people go that they may go and serve me. They are not just going out for nothing. Tell Pharaoh, my people need to serve me. But this slavery is a distraction. Tell poverty, my people need to go. But if you don't let, they cannot serve me. Tell failure, tell delay, tell defeat. Hali parus kabaranta kato. Tell a slow place of growth. Tell barrenness. There is a prophet who should have been born. You are stopping the generation from experiencing a prophet. Hallelujah. Now let me give you the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Listen. Anything that will give you the comfort to allow you to reveal Christ and focus on the agenda of God is God's business. The moment you bring his kingdom in the picture, hey. let me tell you, whether you invite it on him or not, it is his business. The key to getting God's attention is to bring Christ into the picture. The moment Christ and the purposes of God is in the picture, God's attention is drawn. What is going on here? When David came to threaten the nation of Israel, it was not a threat. It was, it was not just a threat to a king. It was a threat to a covenant and the continuity of God's program. And he raised David. And David said, Goliath, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? When Haman was plotting to destroy the nation of Israel, God said to kill my people so the Messiah will not come. This is my business now. Let me tell you the truth. Your challenges will remain your business oh, until you bring Christ into the picture. Until you bring the agenda of God. Lord, give me peace so I can serve you. 
give me speed so I can serve you. Increase so I can focus. Kabaritata. Shaliz Kabaru Zepediakata. Pray unto the God that doeth wonders. Lift me, O oh God, so the nations can see your name and your praise. Let the oil come upon my life. Let the anointing come on my destiny. Mention the area that must reflect Christ in your life. Thank you for this area. But Lord, I arise for this one. I place a demand by faith. I insist by faith. listen please listen to me i want you to be very sensitive the spirit of faith is strong in this place please listen we'll be very fast tonight the real revelation is what you have received now the prayer the miracles and this is something that just comes in one sweep this is the sustaining factor you will marvel and wonder what begins to happen to your life because these are the things that are bought prophecy if you don't put them in place you are wasting your time it doesn't matter what comes please hear me whether you are outside following online please I want you to listen there is a God that doeth wonders and God can arise you see the thing with God is it is the process that takes time when the word comes, the word is quick, quick, quick. You came with all kinds of prayer requests and you think God will answer them moving one by one. Just one pronunciation and that's the end of it. It's gone. So we're going to be very, very fast. I, I sensed, please listen very carefully. I'm going to pray for people, but I sensed that one of the, the major things that the Lord wants to do tonight is first the healing you see every time you see death death and infirmity go together are we together now so the healing that that healing grace we're trusting God that people who have come with all kinds of devilish oppressions but they must be free and then number two I will continue to pray this until I see it in your life. I truly believe, listen to me, that there is a dimension of favor that the church, not just individuals, must shift into. Otherwise, forget about the ease to serve the purposes of God. This issue of God today, money tomorrow, God today, argument, finance, is, is, a, is, a, is a demonic thing. You must press for these graces as we pray. Hallelujah. Father, we have come again. You are the God that doeth wonders. The mighty God of heaven, we honor you and we bless you. Thank you for deliverances. Thank you for healings. Thank you for prophecies. Thank you for the manifestation of your power. Lord, let tonight be a remarkable night. Shift people, shift people, shift people. Take away obstacles and hindrances from their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going, please listen, we're going to be very fast. I already see several manifestations of the angelic in this place now. Um, for those of you who are coming here for the first time, listen, 
take away anxiety just relax there is a god who is mighty he will so shift your life in a way that will surprise you are we together now praise the lord thank you bring the lady under the anointing here the power of god is coming on one lady here we have to be very fast now just here i'm seeing a strong anointing of the holy ghost all The Lord is showing me, I'm in a vision now, and I'm seeing chains, people's feet with chains. And the Lord is saying, this is what has impeded people from making progress. You are moving, but you are not making progress. I'm about to pray for you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the usher so that we are very fast tonight. I'm seeing chains. I want to pray now. In the name that is above all names, I declare by the Spirit, Lord, that anyone here under the sound of my voice, in any of the overflows, inside and outside, bound by darkness, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, right now, be free. I cause those chains. I cause those chains. Please bring them out. I decree and declare. Overflow one. I'm seeing such. A mighty deliverance overflow one just overflow one I'm seeing the power of God come we have to be very fast but I'm praying now you're going to shout that name that is above all names listen this deliverance is not just for you alone some of you came and left your family members for years you are still in the same spot you love God but there is no progress I want to pray for you now at the count of three there's such a strong anointing in the name of Jesus, as you shout that name, that name that is above all names, I tell you, if God be God, then any chain holding you and holding your family must give way. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus. I cause those chains now. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. Shake the inside and outside. I decree and declare: be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's have them outside. Ushers, you should know that, please, so that we can hurry up and make progress. Shalibros kabaruda shalakatos kebriandas. We are still going to pray. I'm seeing fire. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it come on people, not just on chains, feet now. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, every overflow, those following online, this shout of the name of Jesus again. I'm seeing families, what looks like a door on that chain, it must leave right now. One, two, three. I command every chain, the Paruta Shika Barakata, chain of darkness, tying down people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free now. I in the chain falling. Yeah. I need the chain falling. The Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. The same spirit that delivers, that heals. The Lord is that spirit, not another. It is the same Lord that gives salvation, that heals. The Lord is that spirit. Hallelujah. 
I want to rebuke barrenness. Now, first physical barrenness, but then this barrenness is more than just physical barrenness, a state of unproductivity. And as I pray this prayer, many ladies prophetically, the power of God will come upon you, not necessarily because you are barren, but women stand as gates in the realm of the spirit. And God uses them to signify the opening of gates. In the name that is above all names, I declare right now, even as the Lord is revealing to me, there are all kinds of barrenness in this place. Physical barrenness, financial barrenness, spiritual barrenness. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, at the count of three right now, that anointing is coming on people inside and outside. Those with physical barrenness issues, God is stepping in right now. And those with all kinds of related barrenness issues, God is also stepping in. At the count of three, I declare it right now. One, two, three. Let that power touch you right now. I release you. I release you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you by prophecy. I release you. Enter a dimension of fruitfulness. I speak it to your life. I speak it to your business. I place the word upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Madam, please stop this woman for me. Madam, please come. Your life is about to change. I don't know who this woman is. Where are you coming from, madam? I'm coming from the town. Come again, ma'am. From Sabo, from Sabo. From Sabo. I want to pray for you. Number one, please look at me, madam. The pain you experience at your back, huh? that back pain, the Lord is taking it away. Number Amen. two, God is stepping into your family. Amen. I'm looking at your family and I'm seeing that Amen. your family needs a real miracle. This is, this is an array of witchcraft. And if we don't pray, it will take lives. People will die like chickens. But we are going to pray. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing Kogi State. Kogi State. The power of God is coming upon Kogi State right now. Right now I'm speaking. The power of God is a sign and a wonder how God does this, ladies and gentlemen. Kogi State. You see, for those of you who don't know, when God shows me that, the moment I mention the state, everyone who is part of that state, that anointing will touch them. It's, it's a sign and a wonder is a grace i declare right now whether you know your state or not i'm seeing that map and i send the word i declare by the spirit let that anointing i'm seeing fire rising call this state shalis kobarakakata prateka teka toka parukata embregedesha i command liberty by the spirit of the living god i command liberty by the power of the holy ghost that every planting that is not of God associated with that territory. I call for liberty now, now by the Spirit. Mama, please let me pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, Ma, and it will be like a dream. The way God will honor you and take away sorrow from your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our mother. Honor this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I declare over you in the name of Jesus, let everything that looks like shame and reproach and sorrow over you and your family, I cast it out of your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jennifer. 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 I'm hearing the name Jennifer. We have to really... Baby, 
Jennifer. Where are you from? Huh? I've seen this thing before and I've announced it in miracle service. There is something called Aleku. You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm seeing that name again. Where are you coming from? Where is she from? State. You are from Benway yes, State. Yes, we have Aleku there. What? Eh? Aleku. This is what I'm saying. I, know you now. I command that devil out of her life now by the power of the Holy Ghost. See, listen, the Bible says, even the captives of the mighty the lawful captives shall be delivered. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. Every challenge relative to the grace that confronts it. My friend, this gentleman, tap him for me. Don't worry, let me talk with him. Look at me. The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? I'm stretching my hands now. I'm seeing an anointing coming on you. Amen. Number one, the grace for intercession. Amen. Number two, the teaching ministry. Amen. I decree and declare. Amen. May you step into that dimension Amen. in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shift you by prophecy into that dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside, overflow one. The Lord is showing me an elderly woman. It's like you came with your daughter or something. You didn't come alone. Please, if there's such a woman, there come. I'm seeing the Lord is showing me a woman. You came together with your daughter. We have to hurry up because we're going to pray for the sick now. Mighty God. This young lady, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That's the end of it. I release you right now from everything that represents captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you coming from, Mama? I'm from seeing Abuja. Hold on. You came by road? Yes, sir. Kaduna. Abuja, where do you stay? I stay in a... Where are you from? From part of Niger. It's Abuja? The... Yes. Like a boundary? Yes, sir. And that's where you are coming from? Yes, I want to pray for you. The spirit of death will leave your life and your family. Amen! My dear, this is your daughter? Is that lady your daughter? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray because this lady as young as she's seen, God is going to use her. There is a grace for favor that is on this lady, you see. Favor, favor, that's your name. No, it's not like I'm doing an impartation. Huh? Your name is what? What's her name? Favor. Hear me, my dear. The Lord is going to turn your life. You see this lady like this? Don't worry about what you are eating or not eating. You hear what I'm saying? This lady, God is going to honor her. The first miracle God is going to do to your daughter is in her brain. Amen. Because this has been your prayer. Eh? Yes, sir. She's yes, not sir. doing very well in At school. All. This, listen now, let me talk to you. This lady is not a bad lady. She loves, she's a serious lady and a very good and disciplined lady. But this is an attack. I will pray for her. She will go back and you will marvel and wonder at what will happen to this lady. My dear, come, favor. Don't cry, eh? You came for miracle service. Father, the Bible declares that the memory of the just is blessed. I bless your mind. Understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A family of four ladies, the chain of marital delay is breaking now. No, 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 it's, it's not everybody. I'm, I'm praying that this is an exact prayer to someone right now. I'm seeing, I, I just held this lady and the Lord showed me four, one, two, three, four ladies. <laughs> By the power of, please, why are they, don't, please don't bring people out that have not called, please. Why are they here? Huh? Where is she from? 
Overflow one. Okay, this is your daughter. Come, Mama. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? We are from Quarter Two, sir. You are from Quarter Two. Quarter Two. Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. There's somebody here. When it's time to pray, please, no matter what overflow you are in, um, I want to pray for you by myself. When they look at you, they will think you are pregnant, like very evidently pregnant, but you are not pregnant. This is, I don't know what this is. This thing is just protruding like this. The power of God is coming on that person. And that, that demonic thing, I curse it by the God of heaven. He must let you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you, man. That everything that wants to cut short your life, number one, I come against it. In the name of Jesus. And then number two, I'm praying for you. It's time for you to reap from the fruit of your labor. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is this? Why is she here? Okay, Jennifer. What's wrong with her? Huh? She's not feeling fine. Okay, we'll, we'll pray for the sick. Ah, we have to pray. Oh. Is she mad? She's just not. Okay. It's before that she was mad, but now she's like that. She was mad before. Yes. When uh, it has been now uh, one, let's say eight months. Okay. When she came here, so she cannot talk and uh, other like that. She used to. This means when she's talking, so she no talk normally. Okay, we'll pray. We're going to minister to the sick. We have to, if not, we'll, we'll take all the night here. But we'll pray for her. Can she hear me? My dear, how are you? You can hear me? Yes. I will pray for you, eh? And Jesus will heal you. Because I'm already seeing this lady inside a coffin. With what I'm seeing, this lady will not cross this year. They will just say, survive by. But there is a God in heaven. Ah. Hallelujah. We have to pray. I hope they are not just coming out at random. Do we have... Huh? I didn't ask them to come out. I said, protocol, you people should be able to work with the people so that we don't have... You are the one? Come. Where are you from? Paladin. Paladin. Yes. Place your hand on your stomach. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, I have done many scans. What did they tell you is there? Nothing. Nothing. And yet the stomach is growing and you're not pregnant. Are you married? About to, sir. About to marry. Is your husband here? Yes, sir. Husband, come. Where is he? The Lord wants to save a big, major marital problem now. Husband, sir, come. Thank you. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. We love you. God just wants to save you. Very little things like this can tear marriage not into two into pieces. And want to want to help them. Where are you coming from, sir? From Samaria. What are you trusting God for? Healing, sir. Um, God provision for the word. Healing and God provision. Provision. Yes, sir. Uh, are you working? No, sir. Did you apply for a job? Yeah, I've been applying, sir. Because I'm looking, the Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing a letter. This is what I'm, I'm saying. We are going to pray. This is your first time here? No, I've been coming. Okay, been, okay. I will pray for your wife first. Eh? If not, um, I hope I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? but God is trying to save you from what will make you hate someone you are loving so much now. My dear, you love Jesus. Put your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ. You, you see how these kind of demonic things are. The stomach is protruding and the machine is not even saying there's fibroid or something. At least if it says there's something, you know what to remove. The machine is showing that this woman is perfectly healthy, yet her stomach is protruding. If you don't understand now, you can put this innocent brother in trouble. You understand what I'm saying? You see how the devil works? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare now 
Watch the power of God. Ah, the power of God. Oh. This, let me tell you, the anointing is very powerful. It's not for showmanship. It's like a drug. Just enters your system and it will rubbish anything that is not God. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not waste even if it's one day to be pregnant when it's time. I'm saying this by the Spirit of God. And this, I'm seeing like a black band tied around your stomach. I lose it right now. And I release you. I set you free from this. In the name of Jesus. My friend, I pray for you. Look at me, sir. You believe in Jesus? The budget I'm seeing is very much. You have not even gone, you have not gone near halfway the budget. Eh? Don't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassing you. You need a real miracle. This one is not just a destiny helper. You need a miracle. Because with what I'm seeing that you wrote as a budget, Kai. When is the wedding? 12th October. 12th of October. God is faithful, eh? I will pray with you. The prophetic dimension of wealth. Truly there is. Father. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Surprise this, my dear brother, more than enough for your wedding in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare be healed right now. Be healed completely in the name of Jesus. Be healed completely. Your name is Jennifer. Okay, I'll pray with you. Come. I'll just lay hands on you. All this Jennifer, I'll just lay hands. I'm not getting any. Hold her. Collect the child, please. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, take away this reproach that I see in this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the Lord is giving you a new beginning. In Jesus' name, please come quickly. In the name of Jesus, come, my dear. May the Lord bless you and honor you. Come. Reproach is taken from your life. In the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming on one ushering lady. It's an ushering lady. I'm seeing a mighty deliverance. Reproach is living right now by the Spirit. Whether inside or outside, I'm seeing one ushering lady. The power of God is coming upon her. Father, in the name of Jesus, let that miracle take away reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take away reproach. You are Jennifer. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my dear. My dear, hold her hands, two of you. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Because both of you need the same miracle. And God is giving you that miracle. He's terminating shame completely from your life there is i'm seeing a man here you are a pastor i know there are many pastors i can presume but who is a pastor here sir please come you are a pastor where sir come again I'm seeing, what do you have? I'm, I can't hear you. Let him come. I'm seeing you. You came from where, sir? Benin. Benin. I want to pray for you. Have your church. I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. Stand up. You are going to write a book. The Lord is going to anoint you and you will write a book. God will use that book to bless the body and honor you too. It's a grace that I'm praying for you. Number two, sir. I'm seeing the Lord strengthening your understanding. There's a teaching grace that God is releasing upon you. I don't know you, and I'm praying for you. And then I'm praying for you. You will see the miraculous in a very strange way. You may not lay hands on people like this, but the spoken word, as you are speaking, you will see God begin to honor you, and things begin to happen. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you into these dimensions in the spirit and everything that has been said i command that it must come to pass for you by the supernatural power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ the lord is releasing speed now please hear this i want to pray i know that i always pray for this but i'm about to pray right now there is a very strong anointing 
and it's coming on people inside and outside there are people who have compassed certain realms god wants to shift them please help them as that anointing comes sometimes they are going to begin to run by the spirit just run like this inside or outside father i'm the ah, my god i decree and declare right now by the spirit of god the grace that brings speed 10 years in one 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 by the spirit of the living god i command speed for you 10 years in one in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare speed over your life in the mighty name of Jesus I declare it you're not wasting your time you are receiving speed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you are a pastor come it's time to enter a new dimension step into a new level of grace I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus I shift you into a new realm in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit going to the media stand just that media stand I'm seeing and it's still the same grace for speed I'm seeing media stand I'm seeing that grace there are people entering strange realms of speed that God is bringing. I release you by this word of prophecy. Step into that dimension. In the name of Jesus, no power in existence will stop you. Hallelujah. My dear, come. This lady on red. Come, quickly, please. I'm seeing you laughing in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is saying I should release you to your seasons of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over you and I declare whatever must happen in your life for laughter to break out. I'm declaring to you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Let it happen to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are two ladies and three gentlemen. The real grace for the prophetic the prophetic I will do an impartation by the end of the Sabbath but two ladies and three men a real grace real grace the eyes the eyes to see I quicken that grace quicken that anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah grace please don't think we're wasting our time we're going to pray for the sick my dear come this lady god is visiting your family come and stand here where are your people where did they stay Samaru. in samaru here let me tell you the month of september is a strange month of lifting for your family you believe that let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ see let me teach you something you see the word of god is very powerful believe it believe it don't, don't sit arguing and saying will god touch me will he change my life no god will more than surprise you father in the name of jesus i'm praying for this lady and i decree and declare The Lord grant you this miracle in the name of Jesus. The Lord is touching someone at overflow two. Overflow two. And the Lord is saying he's taking reproach away. Taking reproach. I'm seeing the power of God come upon someone. 
overflow to in the name of Jesus Christ overflow to hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly but I'm seeing wow Usually, I would, not, I would not be the person to talk about these things, but when God does it, uh, we, are, we, we serve his purposes. I'm seeing a grace for miracle alert. This is why I kept quiet, because you will be surprised. That means you will see a lot inside, a lot of monies. There was no transaction to have necessitated it. Now, God does not do this to sponsor laziness, but it's a prophetic dimension. This is what I just saw. I declare by the Spirit of God, Father, every once and again you do this in this house to bring glory to your name. I pray by the Spirit of the living God right now, in the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. For many of us, what will come upon you will, will take away financial pain financial shame in the name of Jesus Christ my friend what do you do come this man this what do you do a businessman sir. a businessman where in Dandume sir come again Dandume Dandume Katsina State Katsina State yes in Dandume, I want to pray for you you love Jesus yes sir don't let anybody, don't be embarrassed, eh? Don't let anybody tell you to do anything diabolic for business favor. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. I yes, hope you're not embarrassed. Yes, sir. That, don't let anybody tell you that this is what he did that worked. And you too, you should do it and customers will come. It's not true. Listen, let me tell you, Paul can plant, Apollo can water. It's only God that brings increase. I want to pray for you. Father, what's your name? Sunday. Naemeka. What's that? Is there a name like that? Naemeka. Naemeka. I'm hearing that name. I will pray for you, sir. But the Lord is bringing, I'm seeing the Lord bring a very strange miracle to the person with that name. In the name of Jesus, I take away stagnation from your business. I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit into abundance and into plenty. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the hand of God coming on several people for ministry. But listen now. This doesn't mean that you just get up and go and start doing ministry, but... The call of God has been lingering on your life and it's time to answer that call. I'm stretching my hands. Lord, I don't know where these people are. Overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. Online, in the main auditorium here, Father, anyone that your call up is upon his or her life, I'm praying, oh God, confirm that call right now and let them know that it's not just their imagination i declare by the anointing and by the spirit of god draw them into their various callings into the various mantles the trainings the seasons that they must enter in the realm of the spirit to become mighty men and women of god in the name of jesus christ What's your name? Okay, I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may God grant you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, huh? I take away everything in your mind that will stop you from being productive. I shift you to experience the hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We'll pray for the sick now but i'm seeing a ring in the spirit enter the hand of a lady and then the ring breaks almost immediately now you know that this is already it may be symbolic of marriage or a disastrous thing happening that just scatters it father in the name of jesus 
I don't know who that person is, but I'm praying right now that anything that will push you into marriage to only last months old in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing an anointing, my God. Come for direction. Especially geographic direction. The Lord is showing me that there are people who came here praying. They don't know exactly where to be based. This is this this sounds funny, but the Lord, there is an anointing that is coming, giving you clear direction in dreams, visions, prophetic intuitions. Some of you are saying, Lord, should I stay? Should I go? Should I travel? Should I stay in the country? Out of the country? I'm praying right now. The grace for accurate direction. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Hallelujah. He said, look up to Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bear thee. For I called him out alone. I blessed him and I increased him. I called him alone. This night is not you and your neighbor. I know you are going out together. Just leave that thing for a while now. Are you hearing me? It's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members. Oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in new extension. Forget about that thing. I know mother came with father. Bro, forget about that thing and say, Lord, I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open. I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I'm provoking you to get angry tonight. Because what you are about to lift, listen, when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights, before they lift it, you see them shouting. They are getting themselves angry. Well, because when they are angry, an ability they cannot explain comes. This is what I'm doing to you. When I fire your faith, every unbelief that came with your situation, I know you trekked from town to come here, but can I tell you something? God is able to change the story of a man. Tonight, let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child. Let's see that demonic report that says you have fibroid and that you will be pregnant. Let me tell you the truth. My Bible tells me God opened the womb of Leah. God opened the womb of Rachel. It is God that opens a door that no devil can shut. And he can shut a door that no devil can open. Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, Behold, I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word. He said, Behold, I set before you. I set before you. Hallelujah. We had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God. Hallelujah. Someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State is the one that he designs for state governments their websites and he just called us he said koinonia messages have been blessing him opening him to dimensions in the spirit he said he has been stepping into new levels in his career and he said please i want to transport myself foot my bill lodge myself and come and build a free website for the ministry and i want to train the media team on how to maintain it everything free of charge how can you explain this see listen listen i don't say this thing you see let me tell you something we tell testimonies because the testimony of jesus 
That means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the Christ is a spirit of prophecy, meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life. Hallelujah. The testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. Don't sit down there and say, can it happen? You are seeing what God, you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and is not working in your life. Get angry this night. Get angry. He said, I and all the children that the Lord has given me, get angry. When they saw the apostle, they said he had been with Jesus. See, listen, let me tell you this night. Don't you ever, hear me, don't you, just leave him, leave him. Don't you ever, are you hearing me, try to make Satan make you think there is no hope. That language of there is no hope is of the devil. Some of you are outside, hear my voice. Because there are many voices speaking. There are some voices telling you you will never marry. Ladies, hear me. Some are saying because you live the past life. Look at how it is in your house. What is your business? With what has happened to Mr. ABC. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side. Is that true? They fell near you. He said another ten thousand by your right side. He said none shall harm you. Some of you hear me. This night, I'm serious about this marriage thing. We are going to break this devilish yoke. Some of you have been laughing about it. If you don't take it serious this night, you will be surprised. You are just saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't get up and deal with it this night. The Bible says, the whole world lieth in wickedness. Don't let cartoons fool you. This world is not a playground. Are you hearing me? So when it's time to receive, make sure you receive. And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of Jesus he said destroy everything of the past tonight let me tell you something everything whether your mistakes whether your carelessness of the past the Bible says remember not the former things how many of us are ready to receive tonight let me give you a few seconds right now. I'd like you to think on the things you want God to do for you. Please, don't be mechanical about this. We are not doing jamboree this night. Think very well. Know what you want God to do. If his husband, say husband. Don't say a man. If his wife, say wife. If his breakthrough, say Lord, my heavens are short. If it's finances, say finances. If it's your ministry that is dying, no growth, say, oh God, measure a thousand cubits this night. Any area of your life, terminal disease, infections, lump in your breast, cancer, whatever it is, just believe God. Don't say we have been coming I came the last time I didn't receive. Master, we have told all night, they said. He said, nevertheless, this night, I thy word. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute.
Exercise your spirit, man. Outside, I'm telling you, I see a cloud outside. A mighty cloud. A mighty cloud. The Lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside. God will do mighty things outside. Pray in one minute. Cry out your expectation to God. Go ahead. Forget about your neighbor. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, you know that you are my last hope this night. You are my last hope in this place. If you do not help me, there is no help again. If you do not save my family, if you don't change our story, then let it be that there is no God. But I have no option again. Pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny. Pray enough is enough. That yoke of bad luck. Pray Christ has redeemed you by faith tonight. You will enter into the experience. Christ has paid the price. You don't need to pay it again. But it takes faith to enforce that which Christ has done. The price has been paid. It will not be paid this night. That ultimate price. Yes, Lord. just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying your hands everybody inside and outside I truly hail you most high I hail you most high I truly hail hail you Hallelujah. Hear me? The power of God is present in this place mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me? Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness, every curse, every the power of God is already moving every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside 
at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the holy ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now holy spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things i give you all the glory at the count of three hear me i confront gates i confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the holy ghost you will bow at the count of three one two three shout jesus that devil of darkness come out let god's people go free outside the fire of the holy ghost bring them out bring them out every act of witchcraft every act of divination every act of sorcery let the fire fall i expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord this night they will scatter hallelujah lift up your hands again outside hallelujah hear me those of you outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus god is not done with you please pick them and bring them many of it will be a mass deliverance are you hearing me just those outside right now at the count of three one two three is the name above all names yokes are breaking spells are breaking yokes are breaking yokes are breaking
Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, it's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just leaving. Leaving. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. There's fire upon every devil. Fire. Shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. There's no hiding place. There's no hiding place. Listen, as this is happening to you, I want you to know that this is happening in your family too. Are you hearing me? This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah. Let 
Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns. This is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulsa, if you have Ulsa, lift your hands. Anybody, Ulsa, please, you're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You are a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Uh -uh, not where you are coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's kola knot in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, altars, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle, um, maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies. The Lord is showing me who is Hanatu. Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Han you. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness spell and yokes of bondage let our family go now in the name of Jesus Christ God is not just delivering the family God is anointing this young man God will do mighty things take the anointing you will become a mighty man of God mighty man of God hallelujah sister this lady come please quickly open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain I'm hearing the name Grace look at me who is Grace I'm hearing the name Grace your friend your church member we need to pray for Grace because death wants to take her life are you hearing me? Grace, that's, I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is helping me. But then the Lord is going to visit you in three things. See, listen to me. Number one, I, the Lord always shows me these things because I'm seeing marital issue. Are you married? No, sir. Are you married? Do you know me? Have I met with you? The Lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside are you hearing me but i'm seeing shadow that's the only thing i'm seeing as your face in the spirit there is no form just shadow but the lord is going to set you free number two who is doing a building project me a building 
did you tell me this is the second thing God is going to do? Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? I do business. Are you sure? Don't just say yes. Or are you very sure? Shoes and bags. Okay, you are going to see an escalation in your business. Three, these three things. Hold my hands. Father, that yoke of bondage. I break her free from it right now. Ah, what is this thing that I'm seeing again? Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm not seeing a woman, I'm seeing a man. See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Petrus, your son name is Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Petrus, your son name is Petrus. Please, let's hurry up. Your son name is Petrus. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there. Some of you feel like water in your ears. Just put your hands. Please, as you're receiving miracles, some of you, I'm not mentioning your case. Just walk out. Bishop Stan and Pastor Jakes are outside. Take the courage to walk out now. Go and drop your testimony. Hallelujah. We are going to take one or two of them. The ministers are at the back. Hallelujah. They are standing. Even if the miracle has started, they will perfect it. Look at me. Come. See. Brother, come. Where were you sitting? Outside. At the back. Hold on. What happened to you? coming here for like very well but I've not felt anything so I opened up my heart what happened what happened that's the question for you vibrating man. see the Lord Jesus because even now God has not finished one of the things God is calling you it will be a time of preparation but God is calling you you're going to be a great teacher of the word are you hearing me you will teach the word very prophetically look at my eyes just look at my eyes. Spirit of revelation. My God, I pray. The eye is the light of the body. Let something happen to this brother. Let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I impart upon you. Just look at my eyes. You're receiving a mighty impartation. hallelujah please go outside god is visiting people i'm seeing some someone healed lump in the breast lump in the breast is getting healed right now right now the moment it is your case celebrate god check it and go out celebrate it there's nothing to be ashamed of this is this is a outside a lady is healed lump in the breast your right breast outside there's healing going on right now a lump in the breast outside a lady is being healed lump in the breast is going hallelujah now blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease, please lift your hands quickly. Quickly, please lift your hands. Want to rebuke that devil. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're lifting your hands, lift it because the power of God will come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, blood disease be healed. Be healed right now. Inside and outside, be healed. HIV virus.
die now in the name of Jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so so um this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. praise the lord Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, as more miracles are happening, don't just come out here to testify, please. Now, I want to pray for a woman. You came, you have pains. It's, it's an elderly woman. Something, I don't know if it's a growth or something. Please, who is that? Please and please, let's save time. God is healing people right now. And then I'm seeing, watch this, this part. You're feeling, sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall. Your bone here, come out. You're a lady. You're a lady. God is showing me. The lady is holding a baby. This is what I'm seeing. You are holding a baby. Whether it's your child. Who is that, please? Holding a baby, yo. You are holding a baby. Where is the baby? Was she holding a baby? Because, come. Open the floodgates of heaven. Where is, where is the pain? This is the baby. This is a baby. Come, madam. You will be healed right now. Look at me. You, you can see her limping. Who can see her limping? Can you see her limping? Can you see her limping? Madam, hold my hands. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Lay your hands on her. Which of them? Which of them? Where's the pain? What happened? Just like that. That devil will leave you right now. Because there is a name. Lord Jesus, thank you. Amen. Come. March your legs. Go ahead. Go ahead. March. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Is there any pain? Are you feeling any pain? Just a little. Go ahead. Just march in the name of Jesus Christ. Now check it. Walk. Walk and come. Walk and come. Jump. Look at. Look at this. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Open the heavens. Let it rain. ministering to me just leave her five months you are a lady here you have not seen your period for five months five months you have not seen your period you've shared it with a few friends right now this night this night i know there are lady ushers they'll help you hallelujah all kinds of menstrual issues it will disappear it will disappear right now open the floodgates of heaven as soon as i pray for you Take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now. That yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes. Is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. This brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. She actually had ulcer, and it translated into asthma. 
Hallelujah. And while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here. And it leads to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like, if you have as uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest, chest pain. Hallelujah. But now I'm not feeling anything, it's just as cool as preach, preach in and out. Breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any problem? No problem. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Migraine headache has just been healed. Migraine headache has been healed now. Migraine headache. Please check yourself. Migraine headache. Migraine headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. Migraine headache. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning. Your heart area here. Your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning. This thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this. You cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady. You're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floodgates. Mama, do, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is an uh, official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Make it down, Mama. Her, her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is, see, the devil once is supposed to be from her head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now. She will, she's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please, we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are gone. Yes. The pains are gone. Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jakes are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil gone, pain gone. Come up, tell her to come up and march. It's gone, it's gone. Look at this, it's gone, it's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven? Let it rain. Let it rain. Hold on. How does she feel? Is this still is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You, you people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one house song. Annie, give us one house song. Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus.
outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, repain. It's my heart. Each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. Well, this moment, while I was standing right here, when this woman just received her healing, I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you are healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please, don't, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? Any pain? I'm still waiting for the lady. Someone, the, I think, the, did I say left or right now? Breast lump. Breast lump is gone. It's gone. Check it. Don't, don't wait. Check, check and go outside. Pastor Jakes is there. They are busy verifying people's cases. Inside or outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, um, this is very interesting. There's a family here that has been suffering delay. And God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way. Wait, 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 wait. Listen. The power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is what the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks, sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit it's a sign that this is what god is doing please let's continue before the person comes out you will come out certainly this is the word of the lord now i'm seeing a baby that is sick you came with a baby that is sick please who is the person the baby cries in the night please hurry up quickly because Pastor Jakes will still come up here and Bishop Stan. Ah, whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night. Who is this? This is the baby that is sick. What's wrong with her? Uh, in 2000. Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003. She was sick, so we took her to the hospital and we transfused her. After them, she was... One more person again, this same experience. For one more person outside. One more person outside. It's going to happen again. One more person. By the power and the influence of the Spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring 
delay in families. The power of God will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed. Let's listen. They transfused her and after... What did they say is wrong with her? The doctor confirmed that she has HIV. With the transfusion of blood, she has HIV. That's what the doctor confirmed. That what? HIV positive. That devil is a liar. Come, my dear. Look at me. What's her name? How can a girl bear the name Favor and still have HIV? You see how demonic Satan is? The Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation. A lady, this is like Jabez, but tonight like the prayer of Jabez. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. She's free. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? There's another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostle, this is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How okay, how long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like two years. How long? Two years. Right now. It's gone. Yes. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying, Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed feel a pain in fact there used to be like a growth check it it has disappeared check it right now it has disappeared check it it has disappeared check it god is doing mighty miracles check it it has disappeared hallelujah now i'm seeing a woman there are objects that move in your body serious objects it moves sometimes to your legs sometimes to your chest hallelujah right now as i pray you are going to be free and you find out that you are free you are feeling light please when that happens to you go down the ministers are seriously praying there father in the name of jesus this demonic thing this demonic thing this demonic yoke of darkness let it leave your body right now right now right now right now come my sister What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said, Grace, I was, my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just 
mock you, they run away, they do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. So when we are talking about marriage, look at another miracles are happening like, I tell you there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's, something was moving. In movement her. in her body. Yes, exactly. She's this is the person. She movement. She had an accident some days ago, and since then she's been having funny movement. Movement in, in your body. Even standing here in the meeting, she was still having that. Any movement right now in your body. Lay your hands on your, on your stomach. No, not on your stomach, not your legs. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen, sir. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're free, completely free. Give Jesus a big hand. Sister, I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing Chuck. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay. You did promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? Ah, wait. Come, come, come. This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go, thou devil of darkness. Release her right now with a mighty shout. Go, go. Now, please, if there is a woman here, you've suffered barrenness or a man, anything that you have not given birth, come out here quickly. Please, quickly, quickly. Bishop is still coming and Jakes, we have to hurry up. There's a vigil that will happen here. Please come out quickly. You, you must be married though, except if you are standing for somebody. Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is lack of, lack of children. You see the relevance of meetings like this? Listen to me. Who is standing for herself or for himself for yourself for yourself come here please quickly those who are standing for others just wait for yourself look at me are you together she's your wife oh both of you are standing for yourself where's your husband he traveled i'm seeing a baby girl go and write it Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. You will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. Ah, you're on his marriage. Why didn't you wait? The guy just said, okay. No, 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 no. Don't see, don't laugh. It doesn't mean you should do it anyway, but don't laugh. It's coming out. Look at me. You believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage, yeah? When, when, are you, when is the wedding? 
Eh? Hold my hands. According to the time of life, I speak to you under the unction of the Spirit. Before the end of this month, you will be in a very godly, serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God. Father of spirits, connect them. You are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Wow, mighty miracles again are happening. You too, you, for yourself, lay your hands on your stomach. Come, because I'm saying something else. What did the doctor say? Well, we shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, EID, we'll pray, whatever it is. And see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand. Some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abi? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and it will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you, and that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Hold. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at. Sorry. I this is bad. Viewers' discretion. I'm sorry, don't feel bad. We are disciplined people. But just so that we we'll celebrate God, check, no hole. Look at this. No hole. I can't see any hole here. There was, your teeth was removed. Two teeth. Two teeth was removed. Who knows her? Who knows her? Is it true that the teeth was removed? Who is that? Yes. Yes. It's, it's true. You are sure of that? Dorcas. Her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally give jesus a big Hallelujah. big hand big hand big hand of praise hallelujah now all of you that are standing for any see if you are standing for anybody when you go back send the person a text and say i just stood in for you now believe and receive are you hearing me send them a text don't let them roam around you are here suffering to stand in for them they are not connecting again hallelujah and because you are standing here it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness i hope you know that the bible says and when job prayed for his friends god turned his own captivity job 42 verse 10 and 11. let me pray for you lift your hands look at as many people lift your hands some of you the power of god will come upon you on behalf of the people there my god children the bible says are a heritage from the lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that jesus is alive right now i pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members. I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. 
every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness if they don't have womb we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus return back rejoicing send them a text that they have been prayed for and let me tell you see listen hold on hold on there are some who take in but lose the child is that true lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in they take in one month two months they just wake up in the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you hallelujah pastor jakes bishop stan please come please come they'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes hallelujah i know that there are areas that they'll minister to you while that is happening pass the prayer request please this is a time for god to visit your case please as you are passing it be praying in tongues as your person be praying in tongues say lord this is it my time has come if they didn't call you your prayer point will call your case now hallelujah god bless you sir pastor jake so just minister by the grace of god and then bishop stan sir please write your prayer request quickly trusting the Lord for and Lord communicates to me for some of you especially God will touch you hmm. God's going to be touching some of you especially what you've desired from him specifically so some of you God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life an unusual kind of anointing hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido, fine dan gros tiki vantahi, lingo su pratica tareboste, randa kai. One of you, the anointing will be so heavy on your leg. Heavy, heavy. They will literally have to carry you out of this place. <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place. Blessings, blessings, God is blessing some people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessings, God is blessing you. Shika parada bando kosukara ba 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 ba. Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. Pakoto peni banti kabara ba ba ba. Please, that person, it's a 
is your pancreas. Just lay your hands on your stomach. You've been having unusual stomach pains. Your pancreas. I think pancreas should be in stomach, right? Pancreas, pancreas, pancreas. That's why I hear pancreas. Just lay your hands on your stomach. You've been having that problem. Right now, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release healing. Let healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us, and I don't know, there might be more than one. Um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream. And when you are done eating that food, you become heavy. I don't mean physically, spiritually. Let me clear this. It's possible for God to do an impartation for you. It's possible for God to do an impartation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus name go in the name of Jesus go thank you father I thank you in the name of Jesus you are free in the name of Jesus you are delivered in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you father I declare freedom freedom in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you Jesus he will minister to you who dropped this picture what happened to the baby is dead the baby was born crippled that devil is a liar what did they say No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. 
And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as you are lifting up your hands, make sure that you are making a commitment. No sex before marriage. Don't let anybody deceive you. I'm saying it straight to the point. Hallelujah. No sex before marriage. No caressing. No all this nonsense that people do. No. Don't, don't open up yourself for demons. You tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No, not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just, if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait, whatever is pursuing him, let him carry it out of your life. Hallelujah. I need to say this before I pray for you. God is not a magician. Are you listening to me? This is not a herbal center. This is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles. Hallelujah. So make sure as you are standing here to receive, you are serious with God. And you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about. Stop it this night. Stop it this night. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness. And Father, this night I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community. I declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus and I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40 no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you Brothers, I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please, is this all the prayer requests? In one minute, we are going to pray. And then there are three areas, three more areas I need to speak. Finance, breakthrough, this is very important. Please keep your spirit open. If possible, just be praying in tongues. Let me invite the ministers. Pastor Williams, please come. Bishop, come. We are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. As the servant of God is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing, I want you to be, this is not a ritual. Don't take it as a ritual. The scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the Bible says how that listen, listen, listen Hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me? A threat letter was written 
and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues Zebra di kodosh ina zata la braka dashi eka kasa tala bratisha zebra di na kala zumi na kasa shia rapata shadole brate kala baush tava ke zebra di kada kada baka tasha tava rubi dani zumi na kaya na daba sata la bra eka suka bilis eka le abito shita ba rubi dana zebra kapata shita la ba yesa ni monos kupa kasa shaba. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah, Father of all spirits, the great I am, Maida Subikro Lays in Amakata Sata, Lisa Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetebaba. The one that released manna, Paul released manna from heaven, Jehovah. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request. Miracles, visitations, miracles, visitation. Far above, far above what they have written. Far above, far above connection, completion, perfections in the name of Jesus. Completions, perfections in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, visitation, divine visitation. Jehovah, Jehovah, miracle worker upon this request. Breathe upon it. Breathe upon it. Breathe upon it. Let there be miracles. Let your people testify in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry. Mysteriously prosperous. By the hand of God. I believe in prosperity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty. You cannot help the poor by being one of them. Are you hearing me? And I want to pray for you. Please believe. Lift your hands. See, listen. The irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing, kingdom investments, and your givings. They open the heaven and position you. And then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom the blessings of god upon your hands strength and long life hallelujah i want to encourage everybody please bring out a seed i can't pray for you for prosperity just like that please please this if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing just keep your seed please this is not some i won't help you let me tell you the truth i'm not going to help you it's not just about saying receive no Please, God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please, please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. 
there are many of you God has been speaking to you you won't listen I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts if you see if your heart is still on prosperity God will never give you he said my son give me your heart until you conquer greed you are not entitled to handle true riches are you hearing what I'm saying please bring out a seed some of you will bring out something that will cost you let me tell you don't pity yourself don't pity yourself at all don't make foolish impulsive decisions are you hearing me we are not manipulating people don't make stupid decisions that you come outside and, no no make some of you God is speaking to you right now some of you need to stand for your families honestly honestly see if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed it means we are fake something is wrong are you hearing me I tell you this this prosperity oil there is an oil it will come upon some of you in a fearful way please inside and outside I beg you if you don't have a seed can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed please connect allow the person hold your hands don't feel bad please stand up everybody this is a very serious thing lift your hands and lift your seat hear me Solomon there was a sacrifice upon the altar and Solomon said oh God oh God attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond and the Bible says the glory the Shekinah of God came and filled that room. I'm praying I'm praying see I tell you it 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 pains my heart it pains we want you the full gospel you must represent the kingdom in its entirety we don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money no are you hearing what I'm saying please lift it. some of you what will come upon you is the giving grace because honestly for some of you is greed greed even to yourself lift it up i want to pray oh god has given us this anointing and i want to pray my god it will happen it's going to come on like fire it will fall on many of you please help me my god i pray the oil of prosperity the power to get wealth at the count of three my god let it fall mightily right now one two three take it take it take it take it take it shake it, take it, take it, take it. i activate it outside i activate it let fire come upon your seed i give your seed a voice in the spirit it took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty we use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty it took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty we take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing psalm 66 verse 12 he said thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through waters and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place my god you know we are not fake we are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people i pray my god i give your seed a voice and I instruct it go around the earth gather your kind and return back to the owner I prophesy under this apostolic unction I speak to your seed go around the earth gather your kind go around the earth gather your kind go around the earth gather your kind and return a hundredfold hallelujah please cast your seeds with joy quickly help me please bring the offering basket 
Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call, breakthroughs. There are families that need major breakthroughs. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, your, the way from the day they gave birth to you, you have never celebrated entering a house that God gave your own family. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Every time they start a building project, rain will wash it or something satanic will happen. Breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, Thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. Thou shalt break forth. Please receive it. Some of you need to call your loved ones and say, Look, a prayer was prayed. There are some houses that have been built. Ten years. Ten years is a cost. It's a cost. I'm telling you. There are some people. They are, they are lecturers. But they are still begging for money to feed. This, this is the yoke of bondage. There are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you as you are looking at me now. You are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family. As young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kodi State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night, this night, I speak, this night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across ABU. Are you hearing me? Altars of darkness will be destroyed. See, this is why God put centers like this. To legislate on behalf of territories. The apostolic grace is not for making mouth. Is for taking charge is a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer I want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible People are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next. I pray for you. See, when the angel of death, hear me, when the angel of death came to Goshen and Egypt, the angel of death killed everybody. It's just that when he came, he found out that some houses were already killed. When he saw blood on their house, he said, these people are already died. And he passed by. I pray that blood of sprinkling that blood. He said, when I see the blood, Rapato Koparatata, not by accident, not by terrorism. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Every lecturer in APU, and in all the institutions in this town 
because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing that between now and December 4 I see four other professors going but we stop it we change it in the name of Jesus we stop it we change it we stop it we change it we stop it He said the heaven of heavens the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord but the earth has he given now let me pray for you 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 have no covenant with death we are entering the ember months now hallelujah please see take seriously the things that happen here are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speak us that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to Lagos you travel to Kotono some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my Duguri Joss Bauchi come out of her now out out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence I declare that throughout this year I have no covenant with the spirit of death say death hear my voice I am an ambassador and in the name of Jesus the seal of the blood is upon me I am protected my family members are protected father in the name of Jesus I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore I pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah you've not given your heart to Jesus please remain standing everyone here please remain standing hallelujah you have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ this is a family this is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life 
The Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Many of us have been struggling. You've been struggling. Some of you are born again. You've given your heart to the Lord truly. But there are encumbrances pushing you away from God. Right now, please everybody stand. I know you've been standing. Please stand for one last time. Inside and outside, let's honor God. And let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen. Young and old. Rich or poor. As you hear my voice, the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you. And he's going to tell you it is time. The Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You've never given your heart to the Lord. Or you have found yourself derailing. I don't care what you have done. There is a home for you tonight. As everybody begins to appreciate them, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Everybody, come out from outside. God bless you. Outside, sister, brother, don't sit back. People are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't sit back. Don't wait for somebody to come. Please keep clapping, Koinonia. No devil will stop you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. They are coming. Please appreciate them. Don't sit back. There are a lot of you outside. God is speaking to you. Brothers, God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank God for the harvest. Keep coming. Keep coming. The devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated. Keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.